My name is Walter Unglob, and this is If Quarks Have No Mass, How Does the Nucleus of an Atom Have Mass? Well, it turns out that quarks do indeed have mass. They are fermions, and they are fundamental particles in the standard model of particles and fields. And if we consider an atom that has a nucleus, and we examine the nucleus, we'll see that it's made up of uh, protons and neutrons. So I'm just labeling them P and N. And a proton is comprised of two up quarks and one down quark. And a neutron is comprised of two down quarks and one up quark. Now, in a nucleus, not only are there protons and neutrons that are made up of quarks, but there are also things called uh, gluons. And gluons are the mediating particle for the strong force, which is what binds the quarks together and what keeps the nucleons all stuck together in the nucleus. Now, the up quark has a mass of two 0.3 approximately mega electron volts per speed of light squared. These units come from the fact that, as Einstein pointed out, you can express the rest mass of any particle or any piece of matter in units of energy. So you have E equals mc squared, and here we just have the unit for mass as its rest mass energy divided by the speed of light squared. And here the unit of energy is electron volts. And here I have 2.3 mega, which means 1 million, or 1 times 10 to the 6, electron volts per speed of light squared. The down quark is a little over twice as heavy as the up quark, and it has a mass of approximately 4.8 mega electron volts per speed of light squared. So we see that indeed the quarks do have mass. These are just two out of the total of six quarks that we have observed in the universe. And they make up the nucleons, the protons and the neutrons, that make up the nucleus. It's important to note, however, that if you just look at a nucleus and you just look at the rest mass of all the constituent particles and add them up, it will not be equal to the mass of the entire nucleus if you were to just weigh the nucleus. And that difference in energy is known as the binding energy. Because the nucleus, just like the atom, is not a fundamental particle. It is a composite particle, and you can think of that composite particle as a bound state between these more fundamental constituents. And you have these gluons as well. So that's an important thing to consider when analyzing the mass and the energies contained within an atom, specifically contained within the nucleus. So quarks do indeed have mass, and it's a good thing they do. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is If Quarks Have No Mass, Then Why Does the Nucleus of an Atom Have Mass? Mm -hmm.